Welcome to the fourth part of my interactive Zoom animation, the series where you, the viewer, votes on what comes next. Out of 20 different fractals, you choose this one, which I call Burning Grove, first. I flipped it upside down and presented a second variant, which you didn't choose. My first change in coloring was mostly ignored, so we went back to my classic logarithmic palette. Let's have a look at where we're today. Next you voted for a rainbow palette with linear color distribution, which turned out very pretty. But last time a majority of those that voted for colors, choose my logarithmic palette again. This is the section that won the most votes, 3, in the previous video. But before we have a closer look, let us check out the second places, which all got a single vote each. In alphabetical order, here is section C1. Chosen by a family member. E1. Chosen by a friend. E3, also chosen by a family member. F2, selected by Yo underscore Mama. G5, picked by OTS. G6, proposed by Jervin Sevilla. H7, wished by Khaled Kang, who also wanted to see it in red cyan. There you go. Back to today's choices. What intrigues you the most? One of those tricorns? Maybe that mantle brought? What about all of those crescents, or sickles? Or what about this double crescent which reminds me of a Ferengi vessel? In any case, please go to the comments section and vote. If you describe what you see you might persuade someone else to vote for the same grid space. You can also send me a private message if you prefer. But before that, let us have a look at some other ways of painting this scene. We of course start with your elected choice, my classic talent in logarithmic distribution. And this is the same scene drawn with the linearly distributed rainbow palette. Here still with the rainbow palette, but logarithmic distribution. This render was done using rainbow colors, but with a higher iteration limit and double logarithmic distribution. Going back to my standard colors, but also using double logarithmic distribution and higher iteration count. Now with an even higher iteration limit. Still my standard colors, but now linearly distributed. Same setting, but with higher iteration limit. A new option for you, which is the average between linear and mod render. Almost last, but not least, something completely different. Using MPI colors mostly looks like a mess. Unless I reduce the iteration limit drastically. But that is it for today. Please vote for your favorite pair of coordinates and color scheme. And if you don't like this particular fractal, go back the first part and vote for the next series there. If you like videos like this, Please tell your friends, family and co-workers, so we get more votes and can proceed faster. And consider to like and subscribe, so you don't miss the next part, whenever that comes out. Thank you for watching, and until next time.